On behalf of TVLesson.com, this is Master Jeff Wade with SouthMiamiTaekwondo.com. In this clip on weapon disarms, I'm going to show you how to take a uh, pistol away from someone aiming at your face. There's a nice way of doing this where we come this way and simply take the gun away. There's another mean way. I'm going to ask Rick to put his finger on the trigger, which is uh, bad for me, puts me more of a threatening position. But it's also bad for him because in this one, the gun is going to act like a penny. If you look right here close to the finger, you'll see the finger is hyperextended. If I continue down, it's going to break the finger and take him to the mat, or I can pull straight back and rip the skin off of his finger. You want to be very careful when you're practicing this because you can really hurt the person's finger. You're coming this way. You want to be careful and not shoot your own finger here, too. You want to have control of him and take him all the way to the mat or whatever you need to do. I'll do it for you one time in real time. At the end of any gun disarm, you have to decide what you're going to do with the weapon and with yourself. Maybe I take the gun away. Now I've hurt the guy's finger, maybe broken it, maybe stripped the skin off. He's going to be pretty mad. What am I going to do? Am I going to throw it aside and run? Or am I going to turn the weapon back on him? Which I don't recommend because the weapon could be booby trapped or uh, empty or contain blanks or something. So we're going to pack the slide to make sure that it didn't come loose during the technique. Then we're going to rack the action to make sure it actually has a bullet in the chamber and then we can hold him. Again, you can't depend on the fact that the gun has bullets and actually works, but in a tight situation, it's better than nothing. On behalf of TVLesson.com, this is Master Jeff Wade. Thank you for watching.